all. How's everybody doing? Uh, I have something really different um, to show you today. Something different from me. I know you're used to seeing me do little golden books and kids books and uh, recycling children's books and stuff like that. And I really just wanted to do something different. And I love, I love doing stuff like this. This is super, super fun. And I had so many things that I collected and these little tiles that I made a while back and they've just been sitting in my stash. And I got really inspired <clears throat> and went down a rabbit hole a couple of weeks ago. And this little bead, I need to put this little bead on something. So. Um, went down this rabbit hole with wire wrapping these keys. So another thing that, you know, inspired me was I found, um, a while back I found this whole jar and it was full. This whole jar of keys at my favorite shop that I like to shop at. And then, um, because I wanted to do something different, I was kind of looking for inspiration, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this lady. It's called B. Sue's Boutique, and she does a lot of uh, recycled jewelry and things like that, and creates other things. Now, she uses new stuff. She uses recycled stuff. She uses keys, and she was, um, I was watching one of her videos, and she's got a ton of them out there, and She's she's a really great channel. I suggest if you like anything like this to go check her out. But um, she was making jewelry pieces. So what she was doing with the keys was she was wire wrapping the keys. And I hope you can see these. She was uh, she was wire wrapping the keys and making pendants. So she was turning them this way and putting chain and things on them and uh, making pendants. And then she was also putting, like she would wire wrap the key and then she was gluing different things to them. So just doing altered keys, but she was, I learned how to do the wire wrapping of the key from her. So I kind of went down this rabbit hole and I took a lot of my stuff and a lot of my um, beads and stuff from jewelry, charms, my keys that I found and these really cool uh, crystals that I found at my favorite shop, same shop I bought the keys from and um and wire wrap those i took the old um the old wire out of them and then wire wrapped them like that and just buttons and and bits and bobs and all kinds of fun stuff and i made a ton of those but then i thought you know what i have all this other stuff and i have this jewelry and i have this chain and just a lot of fun stuff. So my idea was to make some really chunky, funky journal charms. Um, you can use these for journals. You can take them apart if you want to, if you don't like this kind of chunky look. Each one of these has one of the, um, the key wrap charms on the bottom. So you can see it's a charm in itself on the bottom of each one of these so that can be removed you can use it you can take this piece and add you a um a clip to it and i can't of course i go blank when i'm on video you can make these into bracelets you can do whatever whatever you want you know in our world as always the possibilities are endless but um i have listed these in my shop um, because I wanted to share because I have so much stuff and I love I just had so much fun making these and I put um, You can see I've just kind of laid them out here. So you can see like these pieces right here uh, Came from a bracelet. It was one big chunky bracelet. I took apart There are vintage buttons um, This came the little hearts here were um, part of a bracelet this was a pen at one time that I took the back off of. And they're numbered, so they're numbered in the shop, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I, what I wanted to do was try to show you, and I hope you can kind of see them laid out. I don't have a way, because I'm on my phone, I don't have a way to 
um, zoom in on my phone, but I'll just try to show you real quick. So this is number one, and you can see um, just all the fun, all the fun stuff on here, okay? And some of these, like I said, the majority of it is upcycled, is upcycled jewelry and vintage buttons and things like that. And there may be a few new pieces um, mixed in. Like on this one, there's a little Eiffel Tower charm and a little bicycle down here. Um, it, the majority of it, I'd say 90% of it is upcycled. Like all this chain, each one of these are on, came from one big necklace that had a lot of pieces to it. And then these two are Tim Holtz hooks uh, that I had taken the smaller pieces of chain off and put these bigger pieces on. And then the rest of them just have a, um, a binder ring, a small Tim Holtz binder ring on the top, okay? So that's the first six, the first set of six. And um, you can see the pictures in the shop are a pretty good in pretty good detail you can see what's on them um, if there's I don't know so so here's the second one I don't want this to take forever so the second one you can see it's got just all this fun fun stuff on it I love this right here this came off of this is a vintage piece that came off old piece of jewelry and uh, this this was a charm that looks vintage but then I Hung another little uh, bead strand from another piece of jewelry. Wire wrap buttons, vintage buttons, sort of the same thing, but different. So some element, there are some similar elements on each one, but each one is is very unique because they're not all they're not all the same. The keys are different. The charms on the keys are different. Um, some have the some have this little, this one actually has a little Tim Holtz. Number four has a little Tim Holtz saying that says, dream as if you'll live forever. And then there's a little crown charm on the bottom. Now that's a new charm. The rest of this is repurposed, you know? Vintage buttons. These blue pieces came from another necklace that I repurposed and took apart. One of my little tiles. Just fun fun stuff and I picked like I put a lot of my favorite things like I've been hoarding some of this stuff because I just love it and then number five has um you know that same black that same black charm vintage buttons this is a little bead I made the the um, little tile on here some of these are like little ocean tiles this came from a bracelet these pieces came, this piece came from a bracelet and that was from another little necklace. Vintage buttons. This one has one of the crystals on it and there is a Tim Holtz charm on this one that says simplify. And so just really, really super fun, super cool. Um, these little pearls came off a bracelet. This is actually a little bead cap. You can actually take these and kind of flatten them a little bit and they look really pretty. Uh, this is a little wood button with a bird on it. I love these little metal, these little metal buttons. And I love this little key on this one. This, is, this one right here, number six, is just a tad bit shorter than the rest of them because the key is smaller. So they measure, if you measure from from here at the bottom of the ring to the end of the key, they're a little over eight inches, but you can shorten them um, or you can keep them like they are. So anyway, so that's the first set. So I put three sets in the shop. So that's the first set. Move them out of the way. And I have moved these back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so far, everything has held on. Um, you know, sometimes with the little um, jump rings and stuff, if you catch it on something, you have to be careful. But 
these are made pretty well. So this is number one in the second set, number two and number three. So um, these two are a little bit different in that they have a piece of chain that had these really cool, um, these really cool little connectors on it that had other little parts. So did these a little bit different. So this is a this is a different price range. And with this one, this was just a clip-on earring and I just clipped, I just put it on there with a jump ring. Cause I just thought that was really cool and it's pretty thick and I didn't have any way to put a hole in it. Um, so, you know, you can, like I said, you can take these apart and use them however you want. This kind of is an ocean theme one because it's got the sand dollar there's a mermaid, there's an octopus, and then there's a little boat down here at the bottom and it's got the blues and the silver and like the little shell pieces and the little pearls. Just really cool. And, and I love this chain. I love this piece of chain. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, so that's number one in the second set. And then this is number two. And this one also has sort of the oceany theme. Uh, beach theme, but it's got these really pretty vintage beads, pearl, the big blue piece, buttons, um, a conch shell from a, this is a gold piece from a um, bracelet, and then down here you got three, three little sections of, well two little sections of chain actually, and I put the heart in the middle, and I put the key down at the bottom. And then there's another sand dollar on here and another shell, little button, little bitty green bead on there. Um, this one also in the shop, it does not have the key. I, I didn't realize it until I took the pictures and I put them in the shop that I'd forgotten to attach the, <laughs> the key to this one. So just be aware of that um, in the picture and I'll try to update that. I, I'm sure I'll have time. I don't, I don't expect these to go flying out of the shop, but um, <clears throat> if I have time, I'll go ahead and post the, the correct picture in there. But this one did in the picture, number two in this set, the key's not in the picture, okay? So I apologize for that. And then number three is a little bit different. Um, this is on more of the same chain as the first set. It was just a shorter piece. So I put it in with this set, but it's really pretty too very this is very vintagey um well they're all vintagey to me but some of them are a little more a uh, little more funky junky vintage and then some of them are just a little more you know i don't know what i'm trying to say y'all know i'm crazy but anyway i think you get the idea i don't know it's just got a different look to it um the key has a little bike on this one and uh there's this really cool leaf button and um I think that's an eagle. It's supposed to be an eagle. It's really cool charm. There's a little ladybug charm on here. Really pretty. Some of my favorite um, vintage buttons. But these are a little bit shorter. So if you measure, if you measure, these are about um, right around seven inches. Okay. Maybe a little bit. A little bit longer if you add the key and this one is really the whole thing is right at seven inches so um so that's the second set and they're numbered in the shop one two and three and then the third set and you can see i've got them all on these rings so these are these are the shorter ones, and these are all all six of these are on the Tim Holtz um, clip and chain. There's one, one four. I don't really know any easy way to do this um, other than just kind of spread them all out for you to see.
So these are a little bit, these are a little bit shorter. They're still chunky. There's still quite a few charms on them. So this is another, this is another price point. So these are all about four to five inches, okay? If you include the key on them. Same thing, they all have the separate, you know, there is a separate, whole different charm down attached at the bottom, okay? So you can use this little piece and you can use this as a piece. You can completely rearrange it, use whatever you want to, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. This one's number two and it's got this little bitty key on. I love this little bitty key. So, and a little owl in the heart and the vintage, really pretty vintage buttons and a pearl. And this little charm, I believe is a little XOXO. And yeah, I'm going backwards. And this is one. So this one has a feather and um, there's no charm on the key on this one. Just little, really cool little pieces. And I'm telling you, I share some of my favorite buttons with you guys. Some of those little brass, those little brass buttons, love them. I tend to hoard those. So this is three. So there's a B on here, the heart. Another one of my favorite buttons. This is just like a little bead. Um, there's a dragonfly on this one and the little blue bead. This is four. Love the key on this one. I almost didn't part with this one. Um, with the butterfly, the crystal. They're just all really, I thought they turned out really, really super cool. Um, I'm proud of them. I hope you guys like them. I hope that you want them. Um, and you know, if not, then um, I can add them to books later. But I just thought I would offer them if anybody was interested. And all these little keys, all these little keys are vintage. Um, and you can tell um, some of them are like the little, the old little master lock keys. Some of them I have no idea what they went to. Just really, really cool. And I did clean them. I did clean the keys. I did not do any major, um, major buffing of them. And this one has a little elephant and a longer crystal on it. I just, um, like I said, I just think they all turn out really super cool. So they're in the shop if you're interested. Um, and I hope you could I hope you could see them well enough. If not, let me know. I mean, I'll go back and look at the video and everything. But also, if you purchase one of these, I'm also going to add um, I'm going to add a bulb. I'm going to add a bulb clip to each one. So if you want to clip it on your journal that way, I'm going to add that. I made a bunch of little. Um, okay, yeah, you're going to. Get uh, hooked on another paper clip here. I made a bunch of these little, the little paper clip charms that you can put in your book. So I'm gonna add one or two of those to each um, order. Yeah, these two got connected. I'm gonna add, you know, add a couple of those to your package. I always like to include something a little extra. So you'll get one or two of those, <coughs> and then. This is just a bowl of stuff that I was working from. Um, I'll probably add, you know, add a couple of buttons. Maybe not necessarily from here, but I'll add a couple of buttons in. And then, you know, I have, I have a ton of beads. So, and this is just one little bag of them. So I'll probably add you some other little beads to play with. Beads, buttons, um, the bulldog clips. And so it's another option. And then I may even add um, a couple other things, but I'm not gonna tell you. I may put you an extra key or two in there, um, but you'll get a little, I'll put a little bag of extra little goodies in there for you. Um, so i show you another thing that kind of got me going on this was when I started, you know, I was working on this journal. Let's see how much time I've got, cause I don't, okay. Um, you know, you know me, I'll just go babbling, babbling on, but so I've been working slowly on this journal, okay, and I had pulled a bunch of things that, um, a couple of things that belong to my family, 
Uh, this was one of them. This is the heritage journal I was working on, but what kind of got, and one thing that sort of got me started on this whole thing before I started doing the keys was I made this charm for this book and then I made another charm for another book that I was gonna put in the shop and I gave y'all a sneak peek of it, but then my future daughter-in-law fell in love with it. So that ended up being a Christmas present this year and I made her a charm. So I kinda, I really liked this long charm, you know, and then I just put a little piece of ribbon and I hooked this to um, the book. You know, I just tied, I tied this ring to the bolt, um, to the bulldog clip like that and hooked it on the book. So you can see that. So there's several ways, you know, that you can do that. And, you know, I just love this. I love it. I love it. Have I love having it. I love the dangles. I love the chunky charms. I love that extra bit of texture. I love the way they sound. I don't know. They're just really super fun to me. So that's one way you can attach it to your book. And then I'm also working on, because y'all know I can't do one thing at a time and then finish it. I got to have 12 things going at once. But I started working on this book. <clears throat> and this is going to... Um, this is one of my bucket list trips when I went out to Ocracoke um, in 2018. Yeah, and I haven't done anything with it yet. But So here's a way you can take that, that one charm that's connected to the bottom, and I just tied it on some ribbon and tied it to this book, okay? And I really like, this was a, these were a pair of earrings that were gifted to me, those starfish, and I just don't wear them anymore. So I used that and this came off a necklace that came off a necklace as well and then one of the little keys and I just attached it to my book so so many possibilities so many things you can do just lots and lots of fun and um, also go check out you know there's other people Jessica's been working on some stuff too um, She's, you know, I love her charms. Her charms are super cool. She has some really cool, you know, jewelry and stuff, pieces that she uses. So, um, I think she might be doing some for the shop right now, too. I think sometimes we all can get on the same sort of creative wavelength, I think, and our minds kind of go to similar, similar projects. So, um, she did a great video on taking jewelry apart, you know, and kind of showing you how to do that and showing you how to do different things with, with the chain. <clears throat> so just sometimes you just have to look at, look at things through a different, somebody else's eyes and kind of get inspired. And that's where these came from. That's, that's where my inspiration came from with the wire wrap, you know, the keys. And I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. I hope you guys like them. And uh, I'm gonna let you go. So they're in the shop if you're interested. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.